So this is my second coupon that I welded up. The first one, uh, <laughs> Uh, basically just trying to figure out my settings it was not very good this one is a little bit better but that's what the weld looks like I just welded one side and then the other side this is 3 16 inch I think it's a little much for this welder but I'm real curious to do a cut and etch just to practice that and see what that's all about and then uh, hopefully if I get some decent results I can kind of see what this modified Harbor Freight flux core welder performance is on this maximum thickness rated thickness for the uh, machine so it's real hot right now of course I just weld both sides and uh, I left the mill scale on it just to kind of see what it will do I think that'd be real world for me I'm probably a bit too lazy to be doing a lot of cleaning on the metal but you can see on the bottom I don't see any heat marks coming through the, the bottom piece that leads me to believe with my uh, minimal experience that it's just not not hot enough I could be wrong about that but let me get that cleaned up I'll do my best and I'll use the Harbor Freight portable bandsaw, the Bauer bandsaw, and we'll see what happens. Hey, I want to tell you guys, if you're new to this welding like I am, and you've always wanted to test your welds and see see how your welds are doing or just check out the performance of your machine or check out a new technique or something like that and see how it does this acid etch is is actually pretty simple and straightforward so don't be intimidated by it I bought this Loctite Naval Jelly Rust Dissolver in the auto auto automobile section of my uh, local hardware store it was like four dollars I think for an eight ounce bottle which will last me a lifetime as long as it doesn't dry out that's that supply is huge but that's the smallest one I could find I cut these in half with uh, my Harbor Freight Bauer portable bandsaw and then I took a 120 grit flap disc on my Harbor Freight grinder everything I have is Harbor Freight well for the most part ground off the cut marks which was real easy took me less than a minute and then I just took a 120 grit piece of sandpaper by hand and just rubbed the joint down just a little bit cross grain to try to smooth it out a little bit more and that's all it took it took less than five minutes to do that it took me longer to cut it in half than it did to uh, prep it for the test I'll take some pictures of these and show them to you in a still so you can see it a little better. I took a Q-tip and just applied just a little bit of this to the joint while it was still hot from uh, grinding it down. And in about less than a minute, this is what I came up with. Let's see what those look like. I don't know if I can show you this on the video or not. but. That one's not quite as pronounced as the other ones. I did have that happen a couple of times. All I did was wiped it off, reapplied the acid, and it worked out real nice. Here's another one. This one came out much better. But it makes it real simple, real easy to see your weld nugget, I guess they call it the profile and the penetration and and all of that so I'll take some pictures still pictures of these and talk about them just a little bit more so if you look at this first one here you can see clearly see the weld bead the one on the right seems to have much better penetration but it's kind of an unusual pattern on the penetration I mean that all comes down to experience and technique 
the left side almost has no penetration at all. Now on this second one, again, a great view of the profile of the weld beads, but really inconsistent, almost no penetration on the right hand side. I think the welder is capable, it's just the person doing the welding that needs practice, obviously. The left side has a little better penetration, but not right down into the root. There's a spot there that's got a little pinhole. Now on this last example, the weld on the right, to me, looks like a really nice weld. Great penetration, it gets all the way down into the root, very flat profile. Somehow I did everything right on that one. If I could learn how to do that consistently, then I'd be able to start doing some decent welds on some, on some projects. The left side, not much penetration again. So my thoughts, guys, is the bottom of the line is if you're planning on doing this modification to your Harbor Freight Flux Core Welder, I would say go for it. I think the welder definitely has much more capabilities than I'm able to demonstrate and I also think that it'll be a great tool to learn to weld and uh, in the meantime I'll be able to do some pretty fun projects with it. If you're liking my videos guys do me a favor and give me a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. If you want notifications hit the bell and uh, Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys on the next video.